Hello Smith everybody again, Armoury video help. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done one of these, work keeps getting in the way, but I couldn't leave this one, no, because it is the channel's sixth birthday, six whole years, so uh, I had to put something out for you guys. Uh, I'm still a little pressed for time, so I'll have to speed things up. Uh, in the background, you can see my little Lynx fighter with attached um, howitzers. This is one of my dumbest ideas, <laughs> even worse, because it kind of works, but... Um, yeah, for previous stuff, we've had, you know, like a, a massive Galway challenge, that sort of thing. But we haven't really done anything with the howitzers, so we are going to do a howitzer challenge. One for each year this channel has been here. So I asked you to submit your six howitzer craft, and we are going to go and take a look at those. So I sent out a request for your uh, six howitzer fighters, and but I did it kind of really last minute. I know, completely out of character for me. Uh, but I did get three good, uh, three good fighters in return. So uh, we're going to do a bit of a round robin, starting with these two. This is the F105H Trash Panda by, well, Trash Panda, <laughs> and this will be going up against uh, Action and the sixth birthday edition of his Advanced Hendrix. Let's um, let's get them into the air. Here we go then. I'm sort of familiar with the Advanced Hendrixes, or at least um, their usual version, but not so much with the F105Hs, so we will uh, we will stick with these for the moment. Now, uh, I did specify that just that it was the gun armament that had to be like the six howitzers. Some people seem to have interpreted this as meaning, you know, the only armament on it was to be the six howitzers, so... Um, Trash Panda sent his craft to me without any countermeasures, so I've had to go and put countermeasures on this thing. One of them has already taken a hit, though, so uh, <laughs> I genuinely tried my best here. Um, but, yeah. Okay, how are we doing? We've closed uh, a little over half the distance. The, uh, the F-105Hs just have to keep going a little bit longer to avoid those missiles and hopefully start getting away some shots with those howitzers. Uh, they should be into how it's arranged now, but um, in all honesty, okay. Ben Kerman coming round. Let's turn on the old uh, turn on the old dogfight cam. Ah, it does that thing? It, first time, it doesn't always actually track a target. Okay, it looks like the advanced Hendrixes. Uh, Hendrixes. Hendrixes. <laughs> oh, Goldsmith, you and your plurals. Uh, yeah, looks like they are. Oh. It has gotten away a shot with one of its howitzers. There goes another one. Are you not you not tracking with all six of them? Oh god, there's plenty. Co oh, there we go. All six coming in there. Has anybody taken any damage? Yes. One of the advanced Hendrixes take it. God, if I can get the bloody word out, it's taken a very heavy hit. Which one was it? Actually, which which one was it? <laughs> Uh, I can't actually sit... Oh, I think it was this one. Yeah, it's missing. It's uh, had a lot of stuff taken off the top. It's in a... Yeah, out of control. So it did seem for a while like the uh, the F-105Hs sort of were on the back foot, but now... Oh, that is that is a beautiful opportunity for some for some uh, howitzer fire, but no. Gorilla Kerman doesn't take it. Oh, God, just line it up. Oh! Oh, that was so perfect. That was so perfect, and yet the opportunity was not taken. Okay, Gorilla Kerman trying to close the distance on this other one. Fire coming back in. Come on. Come on, that's close enough. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, but here we go, Gorilla Kerman. This is taking a while. Normally these howitzer fights are over very quickly. <laughs> mm. Okay, one of the F-105 seems to have taken some damage. Lost a bit of a, lost a bit of tail. Shells going backwards and forwards. I think that's the thing. I don't think we've ever had mm, craft this maneuverable, maybe, but it's oh my god. One of the F 105s has gone. Just completely taken out the switch to one of the F 105s. We've been following the, the Hendrixes for long enough. Around they come. Gorilla Kerman. Perfect opportunity. Can't come around quickly enough. Oh! Ah, tries to avoid. The other Hendrix just gets plucked out of the air. That's the thing. It tends to be... Uh, I know we've seen... We've got craft that had sort of damaged here, but not out. But 
it tends it's such an all or nothing thing normally the how it's coming around oh gorilla Kerman takes a heavy hit still in there trying to uh, trying to get trying to come around and bring guns to bear a little bit unstable goes into the water couldn't quite hold it together and I didn't think this would happen based on what was going on sort of earlier in the fight but the uh, the F105Hs do win it huh okay let's um let's move on so rotating the craft we get the advanced Hendrix on team A and um, <laughs> I said last time about uh, think the way thinking I'd uh, made the weapons thing clear um, yeah uh, I also thought I made it clear that I wanted a fighter, but uh, no, Jeb brought me the you wouldn't shoot a civilian aircraft. So we have <laughs> a 737-esque um, howitzer fighter. Missiles and everything and countermeasures. Yeah, uh, I <laughs> with, these, but with these informal competitions, I tend to let a lot more slide than I would do with something like Fighter Subscribe. Especially when I only have three of them because I've given everyone no notice, but... There we go. Let's um, let's see what happens when we throw these two into battle. And the competition starts just as a motorbike goes past outside. So, is this as silly an idea as it looks? We are about to find out. Um, I think I probably would have made it a little bit more manoeuvrable, <laughs> considering what it's about to go up against. Um, yeah. Maybe the, the emotional angle, you wouldn't shoot a civilian aircraft. Maybe, maybe a little misplaced here. <laughs> uh, I did say fighter subscriber rules. Those are, that is, that is a lot of countermeasures. I'm not sure. Oh, God, I'm just going to let this slide. Uh, yeah, a lot of these things, yeah, these things are being hit quite heavily. Okay, I mean... There's plenty of chaff coming off them. I just worry, wonder if it's the speed. Uh, you are going to be able to pull up there, aren't you? Aren't you? I, I, I don't think I don't think you are. I don't think you are. Are any of these going to be able to let loose with a volley? doesn't look like it. We are down to the last, we are down to the last one and here come the howitzer rounds. This is a duck shoot basically, isn't it? I mean, nice, nice spread on the flares. Uh, I say that, he does, he does get a glancing, does get a glancing hit from the, um, from one of the sidewinders. Oh god. Uh, actually, no, maybe dogfight cam's not that good for this one, <laughs> considering how big, the, oh, it's about to go to the ground. Robbing the Hendrixes of their satisfaction. <laughs> Let's go and see what happens in the next fight. Although I, I have, I have a funny feeling I know what's going to happen. So rotated once more to our final combo of the you wouldn't shoot a civilian airliners versus the F one hundred five H trash panda. And I think for this one, because uh, these don't have any missiles, do they? That might give a, uh, these a chance to turn around and maybe bring guns and missiles to bed. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Let's uh, let's get this one going. Here we go then. Can a little bit of extra time work in the favour of uh, Jeb's craft? Um. Yeah. <laughs> or is this gonna? It wasn't so much of a duck shoot. I was hoping last time if, you know. What on earth happened there? I think I think that's um, I think that's a bug, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, one of them has gone into the water. Yeah, one of them has gone into the water. <laughs> it's not going great, but it looks like they are managing to get around and maybe maybe bring missiles to bear. There we go. 
there we go. Can they keep the F-105Hs on the back foot long enough to uh, to get the howitzers involved? <laughs> this, this is not going to be an easy job, even when they <laughs> were even with numbers. And, yeah, as I said, I was hoping with the last fight it was at least going to be like a duck shoot rather than them just crashing into the ground. I was hoping it would be a bit more spectacular, but it looks like we are going to get something like that now because uh, these things aren't going to try to dodge missiles. It looks like they are going to try and go low, though. Oh, don't do that. Oh, you utter pillock. Ugh. Okay, Ben Cummins craft is going high and slow, so... The perfect opportunity. The perfect opportunity. Come on, guys. It's a free lunch. You've got six guns. You've got six howitzers. There we go. <laughs> Finally. Finally the sort of destruction I was after. Okay, so I think we um, kind of know the order here. So the F-105H is the champion, the, uh, the Hendrix in second, and uh, Jeb's interesting entry comes last place, unfortunately. Um, yes, and my special thanks to, uh, to Trash Powder, to Jeb, and to Action for uh, providing these, these things uh, for me uh, at very, very short notice. Um, and my special thanks to all of you for supporting me over uh, six years or however long you've, uh, you've been following the channel. And hopefully here's to, uh, here's to a few more years. Um, yes, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, leaving a comment, following me on Twitter, maybe even getting involved with this with the Discord. Great KSP and BD Army community on there and more besides. Uh, I will be back uh, later on today as you're watching this, because there's the, the birthday stream in the evening. Kind of going to be a normal mailbag stream, but we might, uh, might see more of these guys. Um, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.